guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing one of my videos my name is Alisa Summers so in my previous videos I have kind of gone over like the basics of ISO shutter speed aperture um, you know the difference between a raw file format and a JPEG file format um, I've also learned about low-key photography that I kind of talked about, but something I haven't really talked about is, you know, for me, I am one that I can't read a manual and then go ahead and go do it. I'm, I learn best by somebody showing me exactly what to do and then I'm able to do it. I had a couple people reach out to me and they're the exact same way, so I figured that I would create this video of showing step-by-step -step on exactly what to do for beginners. Um, no pro, but these are the things that I did that have really helped me out with my photography. Also, I did want to add that for editing my videos, um, I use VSDC and then for editing my pictures, I use Adobe Lightroom. Um, I do really enjoy it. It's pretty easy to use. Um, the VSDC, you get a 30 day free trial, I wanna say it was. And then after that, you have to pay, I think it's $50. And then Lightroom is a monthly subscription for $9.99. Um, but if you're using it a lot, it's definitely well worth it and I love it. So I just wanted to give you guys that information. So I know in previous videos I've talked about the shutter speed, the aperture, the ISO, different editing techniques, but there's something that I haven't really touched base with and that's how to go about getting the, that file format and exactly how to get started. So that's what I want to talk about in this video today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn on the camera. So once you turn it on, uh, the other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn it to where the M is for manual. Now when you turn on the manual, so the top one is the shutter speed, the middle one is the aperture, and the bottom one is ISO depending on what kind of file format that you're wanting to shoot in you'll go into shooting settings and then you'll go into image quality and then in there you've got a bunch of different options that you can choose from the l being that it'll be the jpeg and the raw plus l is the raw file format along with the jpeg so that means that you will get two different file formats off of one picture so you'll get the raw file and then you'll also get the jpeg file format so each time you take a picture the lighting could be different you know if you're going out in the middle of the day versus in the morning at night you'll really have to change your settings according to how much light there is and the best thing to do is just play around with your camera try the different settings see which one works best um, you know how you're wanting the image to look so I do have a plant in front of me uh, it's supposed to get down to like 27 tonight, so I had to bring it in. It's super cold outside right now, um, but I'm going to take a picture real quick. So there's that. That is with a really high iOS setting. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like if I start turning it down. So I turned it down to about 1600 and it's just a much darker picture um, because I don't have a whole lot of light in here. Now if I keep it at that and go down in the shutter speed, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, I do like to keep it between like 60 and 100. That makes it really dark. You know, there's not a whole lot of light coming inside of my house right now. So I'm really having to play with the brightness of the ISO to allow as much light sensitivity in as much as possible since it's so dark. So that's a lot brighter. You 
you can see definitely a lot more on there so the best thing to do is just play with it and figure out how much light is coming in from the outside and just to have fun with it and enjoy it and get to know your camera. Oh, I just really wanted to film this video just for the basics. Um, I wish somebody would have had this like intro to photography and exactly what to do because you know, I just learned about like the RAW and JPEG and the difference between it and learning about the shutter speed, the aperture, and the iOS, and exactly the functions of the camera. And so I wish I would have known that prior. I mean, there's a lot of pictures that I've taken over the course of the years that I just, I wish I would have known this information years ago. So I'm really hoping that this can help somebody and be beneficial to someone. Um, also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Also, if you haven't already, please give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear anything you guys have to say. Um, I don't think I have anything else for you, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And thanks so much for all of your guys' support. It really does mean a lot to me. I really love create. Oh, I really love creating these videos, and it's just a lot of fun. So I just I really appreciate your guys' support. So have a good weekend, you guys. Bye.